Hi, my name is Seti and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can take an Adobe Illustrator file, convert it and use it in Google Slides or any other G Suite app available. Now we're going to dive straight into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you'll need is an Adobe Illustrator file. Now you can recognize these files by looking at the extension and the extension will say .ai. Now these files are freely available on the internet or maybe you've created your own in Adobe Illustrator. Now what's great about these files is that it's vector information. So using that in G Suite will be incredibly useful because we can enlarge it and we can size it up as much as we want because it has vector information. Now another way of getting your hands on these files is by downloading them from the many sites available that are sharing these files. Now these were designed by designers and creators all over the internet. The only thing there is that you need to make sure that you use the proper crediting. So if you do use one of these files off of one of the websites that I will leave in that description below, make sure that you credit the original creator. Now once you have your hands on these AI files, what you're going to be using is a website called Cloud Convert. Now Cloud Convert converts any file type into another and we're going to use this to do our first conversion. Now in order for us to get this onto a Google Slides, we're going to have to do two conversions. Now let's go ahead and start with the first one. So we'll open up Cloud Convert and you can create an account and the main reason to create your own account and again this is free is so that you can automatically send the converted file into your Google Drive. Now I do create an account and I use this functionality. If you rather just download the files and then re-upload them and not create your own account that will work as well. So let's go ahead and find that upload button here and we're going to upload our AI file. Now under the options for converting this file, we are going to look for Vector. Now within Vector, we're going to try and convert this to a Windows file. So this is the WMF file type, a Windows meta file. Now the Windows meta file is a file type that also contains Vector information, just like that AI file, and that's the file we need. So go ahead and convert this into a WMF file. Now this is the first conversion. Go ahead and take your WMF file, upload it into your Google Drive and you now have a Windows Meta file in Google Drive. This is where our second conversion is going to take place. When you preview this file in Google Drive or you right click on it, it will give you an option to open it with another application. Now the application we are going to be using is Google Drawings because Google Drawings can also interpret vector information. So go ahead and right click on that file or open the preview and select open with Google Drawings. Now we're going to give it a minute because it's going to take some time to now do that second conversion and this is where it's going to convert it from a Windows Meta file into a Google Drawings file, a G Drawing file. Once you have that G Drawing file you'll see the image is right here, it looks exactly the same but it's grouped. So we're going to right click on the image, we're going to ungroup it and now we can change the elements, we can move them around, we can change the color or we could even copy this into any other G Suite application. So go ahead and open up your second tab and we're going to get a Google Slides in here. We're going to open up Google Slides and we're going to paste our brand new vector. You can change the colors of the fill and border. We now have this brand new vector in our Google Slides. We can use it to really spice up our presentations. They look more professional and you can find some amazingly creative, well-designed vectors on many of these websites. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you scroll down to that comment section below. Let me know which of these websites is your favorite website to get your hands on Adobe Illustrator files. Have you used Adobe Illustrator before? Do you enjoy using vector files or do you have another way of getting your hands on vector files that we haven't discussed today. Now I'm looking forward to reading all those comments in that comment section below and then on your way back up make sure to hit subscribe and also don't forget to ring the notification bell. The notification bell will make sure that you get notified of every new video we upload. Now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.